Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we come up with a new video. And thank you for those that have been hitting the like button. Well, here we are. We're back on this pan head. We've got most things sorted out. I was ready to finish it up in our last video and what happened was I had the wrong cam cover gasket. So I'm still over here at American V Twin in Beaumont, California and Kenny Spratt got me the right gasket now so we can put this thing back together. So we're going to do it right now. I have the cam right here. This is a stock Harley cam and what I did was I measured the end play of the cam last time I had it installed and I put the cover on with a gasket and then I had to figure it all out all over again because I'm changing the gasket. I don't know how thick this one is. I don't know for sure what I'm going to have. But we're going to give it a shot. Now I think that in a perfect world this thing is going to work on the first shot. So I'm going to put a little assembly lube in here because I think I'm going to get it right on one try today. So let's put a little assembly lube on these gears and just make everything kind of happy in here. They're pretty oily, really. And let's see. Let's see. There we go. Now this is a working, functioning shop. So if everything is not perfectly quiet, hey, I'm sorry, people are working. So, Kenny and AJ are over there slaving away. Well, I have the pleasure of playing with this little pan head. And I might add, it's coming along just fine now. All right, as far as I'm concerned, we've uh, got everything pretty well pretty happy here and I'm gonna put this cam in place now I've got all the timing marks lined up there's that one and that one and the straight up here and that one for the breather gear so let's see here if I do it just right it's gonna slide right in place Something like that and that. So I'm going to move this uh, cam plate around. And if I did that just right, why well, it's going to slide right in place. Like that. And if that really looked easy, it's because it was. Again, see the timing marks right there right there and where is the other one right there okay now I'm gonna put the uh, the new gasket on now this is a really modern gasket which is a lot more modern than the motorcycle I'm putting it on but that's pretty cool there are some places where technology has really improved and manufacture of gaskets has been one of them. And that is the proper gasket. Everything lines up. This looks like a real happy little critter. So what I'm going to do now is let's get a little more assembly lube here and put it in here. I'll make sure the shafts are all happy with assembly lube. Now these shafts are not turning, but these two are. This would be the pinion shaft and the cam gear. And these two are stationary posts that the other gears run on. So what I'm going to do is put this on right now. And if that looked real easy, it's because it was. 
Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm really curious about... Now, please notice I didn't use any kind of sealant on that gasket. That was a metal and whatever that material is sandwiched together and these gaskets do not require any kind of sealant. So who am I to put it on there if they don't require it? So, like I've shown in the past, I'm going to put four screws into this cam cover. There's one, two, three, and four. That'll give even pressure all the way around that cam. Okay, now let's see what kind of clearance we got in there. Let's see. I'll bet you there's about 15 there. I just heard cameraman Mike whisper that. So we're going to say, let's see how close he is. And then we're going to laugh at him if he's way off. Because I think it's closer to 14, but he says 15, so. No, it's way up there. We're going to have to take this out and put it in again. I actually went 10 thousandths larger on that cam shim. And I thought that would be more than enough, and it wasn't. 17, 18, 19. I'm going to go up to about 20 here. And uh, it means I'm going to put a real thick cam shim in there. Wow. It's huge. 2, 23, 24. I don't know if I've got a big enough uh, feeler gauge here. There it is at 24. So I'm going to put, actually it's bigger than that. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put another 15 thousandths in there I think. So I'm going to have to take this cam cover back off and I think I'm going to pop it off right now and then see how big a cam shim I've got to put in there. Which means I've got to check that breather shim again, too. You can see why I only put four screws in the cam cover because we're getting a nice even push on that cam and that's good enough for measuring purposes. Okay. this one in here and we'll see what we can do and let's see
All righty. We have it off. Get all these screws out of the way. And we can check it now. What I need to do is get this cam shim out of here and realize I probably have about 15 thousandths more space in there than I need. So let me measure this one. It seems to me this one is about a 60. It is a 60 thousandths and I'm going to look for a 75 in here. So if I can find one, we'll finish this up in the next video. So until then, I'll see you out on the road, but we're going to be back on this thing.